the Chicago family synaxes of the Greek Orthodox metropolis wants to make sure that families grow together and stay connected. During Lent, they focused on ways to engage in faithful living that involves forgiveness, family, and fellowship. For more, let's welcome Father John Rollis, pastor of St. John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church in Des Plaines, and spiritual father of the Family Synaxes Ministry. We also welcome Maria Kroll and Carrie Colas, two of the co-directors of the Family Synaxes Ministry. Father John, tell us about the, the Family Synaxes Ministry. In uh, around 98, 99, with the blessing of Metropolitan Iakovos, we organized a um, family retreat, and the name of the family retreat was given family synaxis. It's a Greek word, the word synaxis, which means the gathering. Our goal is to gather, to bring together families with their children all together, and to share with each other uh, marriage, issues regarding marriage, and of course, parenting. Uh, our first retreat took place in uh, Champaign, Illinois. At that time, we were gathered around 20 families. My children back then were very young, and I remember also Maria's and Curry's children being very young. And since then, we have it every year, and we have expanded as well. So our primary goal is to gather families together, Orthodox families together, to share their faith and to strengthen their marriages and also to make them more skilled, to, f to give them opportunities to become more skilled in parenting. So why do you think it's so important to have a focus on family? I think it's so important to have support in the way that we think as Orthodox Christians as well within our ministry, um, support for us in our marriages and to be able to focus for our marriages, sometimes as parents. Um, I'm uh, the mother of, of six children. We tend to focus on the children, not always on the marriage. So this has been a great opportunity in order to do so um, and to have conversations with my husband about what our marriage looks like and how is it Christ-centered and Christ-focused. And then in that same context, to really look at the children as gifts to our marriage and from there be able to parent them in that way and, and have the support in the parenting that we need. So what is the mission of this organization and ministry? To bring our families together um, offering them a retreat. We um, offer a retreat in two retreats a year, and it's an opportunity to leave our, the business of the world and come together and receive strength for our marriages and strength in our parenting. It's, it's not easy, and we can get caught up in the busyness and what the world says marriages should look like, or what is important in raising our children. And when we step back and come together and are fed at these retreats, we learn um, Christ's perspective on marriage and what it should look like and what parenting should look like and how to raise our children for the kingdom and not for the world. Mm -hmm. Father John, what does a typical family that comes into this process and this ministry or at a retreat, what do they experience? What brings them to this? Uh, the program has uh, multiplied since the very beginning. So we do offer one day Lenten retreat. We offer a weekend retreat during Labor Weekend, Labor Day weekend. We have a women's retreat, men's retreat. And since last October, we have uh, a series of lectures called Parenting University. So we just finished the first set. And now we are able to take some of those lectures up in the area of Milwaukee, some of our churches. Uh, the weekend retreat, uh, which is from Friday to Sunday, uh, is the welcoming. And um, the welcoming the first day. And then on Saturday, we have the lectures. We have always uh, uh, worship included. Our children have their own. They go on their own. So we have uh, workshops for the adults and workshops for the children of all ages. Of course, we eat all together. We have uh, common meals and, of course, activities. Uh, to give you an example, um, what has happened is that the children are so excited to be together. And they are so excited to the degree that one calls the other. And they ask, are you going? Yes, I am. And then they start working on their parents. So the parents start coming as well. So there is to a degree a peer pressure about being there, 
Many people really love the weekend. It's really a retreat, so they can leave everything behind and be there. And we have uh, people from all over the metropolis, and uh, they just want to work on their marriages, and they want to work on their parenting skills. They're trying to find ways to make it happen and to be good, faithful, Christ-centered families. And no matter what kind of parent you are, you can always use a course in Parenting University. I know that, so it sounds like I might need to come myself one day. <laughs> you all have also a ministry in almsgiving, and that connects to the people of Syria. Tell us about that as well. Our Lenten retreat happens to always be the Saturday before um, when we celebrate the midpoint of Lent um, and then the Sunday of venerating the, the Holy Cross of Christ. And so um, it, within every retreat, we try to have an almsgiving project in order to teach our families, of course, about all the God's blessings that he's bestowed upon us and sharing those with others. And so we did um, package uh, health care kits for the people of Syria, and we'll be sending them to the um, IOCC, or International Orthodox Christian Charities. And so we tried. We've also made blankets for um, children with cancer. We've had um, different uh, baby kits through IOCC that we've put together as well. And people brought toothbrushes to the retreat that day, and we were able to package them as, a, as, as one spiritual family. How does it feel for you all to do that work for other people? Well, as Christ taught, when we empty ourselves is when we fill ourselves. So the act of serving others, offering to others, always fills us up. And to have the opportunity to do it as a family is, is building for the family. Um, it really connects the families that are there do, doing this service together and um, connects us with the other families that we're with at these gatherings. And has this work enhanced you all's relationship with your families? We'll have a retreat and my children will meet other children or strengthen relationships even with other children and, and we as, as adults with other adults, married adults at these retreats and then they'll ask to meet somewhere because uh, again this ministry um, ranges over six states, our whole metropolis area. And so they'll say, can we meet at a midpoint somewhere, even for a church service? I had a, a child of mine come to me and say, can we please go to this evening church service? So my friends will be there from the Family Scenexies ministry and we can all be together, so. Father John, what, what have you experienced as the impact for you in being the spiritual leader of a ministry so large and, and impactful across so, so far a range of places? It's a great blessing and a great responsibility. Thank God I have my wife, Irene, and I'm able to share that with her and also always have her, her, her feedback and her input. All my three children, we started together when they were young. Now they are, two of them, they are married and they have children as well. And I hope and pray that they will embrace that ministry because it has been so productive and so meaningful. We have traveled all across the states going to something like that for our families to enrich our families. And I see that with many families that they are enriched and they're looking forward, they are dedicated. Our soul has two wings. One of them is the contemplation and the other is the action. So we have to feed both. We have to feed ourselves something practical and also something that we can also remember the Lord on a daily basis. And I think each one of us has a marriage in this world. We live in this world and we have jobs and our people have very busy jobs. They travel a lot. Um, they're extremely, our children are very involved in different uh, aspects of their school, of their school or extracurriculum activities. And eventually when they come together, it's an oasis in the business of life and they love it. And that brings tremendous satisfaction. Many times I lead the worship uh, services. And when I see them all together, it's, it's a beautiful picture to see them all together and having that experience. Thank you all for being here with us, Father John, Maria, and Carrie. I'm Julian DeShazier for Different Drummers and the Greater Chicago Broadcast Ministries. Keep the faith. <laughs>